just found this area here. Um, there's this thing on the wall, and we tried a couple different things that didn't really work right. Um, we have this, which shows uh, potentially things I have to actually push down. And then over here, there is um, numbers, which are, and so that's potentially the order that they have to be pushed in. So what we're going to try is, so those three are pushed in. Um, so we're going to try to do them in, in order. Uh, turn down their sponsorship. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, I, yeah. I've had all sorts of problems with my fence, usually because my dogs are smart and they'll push underneath if it's weak. But in this case, like the fact that the the fence gates were installed wrong, kind of irritates me. Okay, so looking at this, the one, the first one, is lined up here. So there's a one here. There's another one there, but that's not currently lit up over there. So we're gonna push this one down first. Right? Yeah. One. Okay. And then we have these other things lit up. So we're looking for a two that's um, that's also highlighted on the thing. So there isn't, the only, there's two twos, but that's here. I mean, so if we go like this. Um, so if we look, this is a two and this is a two. So there's no twos that are lit up. So I'm going to say we don't have to do two. Then the next thing is three. This is a three. That's lit up. The other, is there another three? There is. It's here. And it's also lit up. So this uh, this plan for what I'm trying to do doesn't work out too well. I think it's a three, right? I'm trying to remember how these work. Um. Okay. Wait. So these are actually. This might actually be a five. Uh, look at it again. So, um, try to remember how the how the numbers work in that other spot we were looking at. I'm pretty sure that this is this is like six right here. Because when it crosses. Um, Let's refresh our memory and go back to how far is that from here? Yeah, it's not real far. Let's go, let's let's refresh our memory on the numbers because uh, I don't want to be punching them in wrong. So so let's run into this building here and just double check how the numbers work. So um, so one. So one is, oh no, I'm sorry, hold on, here we go. Yeah, okay, so a, a horizontal bar is one, two, three, four, and then a vertical bar is five, and then six is where it crosses like that. So there's, there are probably shorter lines that are crossing, and those are the smaller numbers, and then the fives are the vertical numbers. Okay, All right, and they're a little bit bigger. So let's run over, back over there. And we want to, I think, do them in sequence. Um, based on what's colored in on that one thing. So, okay. So the first one we did is this block, right? And that is this, which is... So I'm going to try to go like this so that I don't have to move my head around as much. Um, so that's this. So if we look at these, the longer lines are the... Um, the longer lines are the fives, probably. So if we look at this, so this is probably one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay, seven. Okay, so let's back up. So is this first thing that we actually push down correct? Yes, so that's one. The next one is two. We just look at them. Two is here. It's not up uh, on there. Three is over here, and so that is filled in. So let's do that guy. So three, um, four is here, which is filled in. 
Uh, five is going to be this bar, which is also filled in. No, wait, I'm sorry. That's actually, that's that's one, my bad. So this is, so five is not filled in. Um, six is this, it is filled in. Um, seven is here, it's also filled in. Um, so seven, eight, is here, not not filled in. Um, so eight, nine is this guy, not filled in. 10 would be two bars, not filled in. Um, 11 is right here. That is not filled in, followed by 12, which is filled in. So 12, 13, nope, 14, yes, okay. 14, and then we have 15 is three vertical bars. That's filled in. There we go. I'm so good. I'm so good at puzzles. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, this is rotating now. Interesting. Okay. Oh, our precious, precious battery. Okay, what's, oh, we never came over here. Is this, does this exist for some reason? Let's, let's hold on to our blue torch. Just to make sure. Woohoo! Okay, so. So we have opened up that. Uh huh. This thing rotated around. Here's the thing. So, do we do it again, but upside down, or is there another one of these somewhere? So, the, the other thing I noticed is there's a one here, and I feel like there's probably a two somewhere else that we haven't found yet. I'm trying to recall what else we have found that we've unlocked that might give us another set of like a two. I'm trying to rack my brain from a week ago. Um, so we just unlocked two places. One um, that told us like how this thing works. Let's run back there again. Just to think about um, yeah, it was in here. Just to try and ponder like what we might do Does this give us anything else that we can work with. So these are the buttons that we use to unlock uh, something. That's th these are the this is the code to unlock it. This thing we unlocked and it moved this thing over, which gave us something here. I can't remember what it was, but hmm. Okay. So maybe we have to do that same thing, but upside down. Because then the, the arrow rotated. It's not going to be the easiest thing to do, but I guess we can figure it out. <laughs> okay, so maybe this thing is rotated, so we have to think about it being rotated. Um... But maybe these are now, these stay the same. And so now it's actually going to be different numbers are pushing down. 
or a different, yeah, a different sequence we'll be pushing them down in. The same positions, but different sequence. Could be. Um, I guess we'll try that. So I have to think about it being upside down without being able to, like, add it to my sketchbook and then rotate it or something. So, um, let's do... Let's pull out my notes. Where are my notes recording? Those are old notes recording. We don't need that. Okay, here's the notes. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to do... Uh, we're going to have to look at this upside down. Hello, Kota. Welcome. All right. So, we have this configuration. And we have to remember that everything is upside down. So, um, yeah. Wish I could just rotate this, but I guess not. So, assuming that's the case, the first thing we're going to do... I did already draw... The things that are colored in, I've already uh, drawn a diagram for that last time. So I'm, let me just verify it's still the same. Yeah, okay. So we need to do... Um, so if this is upside down... Yeah, more mirroring, possibly. I might, I, I might be doing it wrong. It's possible too. So this is here. So it is actually filled in. So we want to do... Um, so I'm going to also draw the same diagram. I'm going to lose a piece of paper. So it's two circles. Um, we have a line going through there and there. And so what I'm going to do is one diagram is what's actually colored in. And then the other one is going to be where I'm going to put it in the numbers for which one is the push. So we don't have to keep on walking back and forth. So one is here, which is actually here. Um, it, it's actually there in terms of... Uh, in terms of orientation... Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So it's actually there, and it's colored in. So that's going to be the first one we push down. All right, we have to ponder this. So this thing is upside down. The first one I want to push is here, which is opposite of where the arrow is. So yeah, it's actually here. Okay, okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm on the right track. So I want to... Um, now, do we do we not see the arrow? Oh, we just see the arrows even if I have the thing. Okay, so the first one is there. Next, the two, which is here. Uh, no, is that? Yeah, two is here, so it's actually over here, which is colored in. So next thing we do is we hit two there. <laughs> this, sounds, this probably seems really weird. Um, it's here, and it's there, and it's under this, and over there. Hint, hit it with a hammer. Yes, if I had a hammer, that might actually solve it. So three is here which is actually here and that is colored in. four which is um four which is here which is actually here is colored in as well brute force yeah um Okay, then five, which is here, which is actually here, <laughs> is not colored in. So we skip that. Six, which is here, which is actually here, is not colored in. Um, seven, which is... Um, which is here, no. Seven, which is here, which is actually here, is colored in. Um, so that was this one, which is seven. So then eight, which is here, which is actually over here, is not colored in. Nine, which is here, which is actually here, and is not colored in. Ten, which is here, 
which is actually here. Isn't that colored in? 11 um, is right here, which is actually here and is not colored in. Um, 12, which is here, which is here, not colored in. Um, 13, which is, um, 13 is here, so here, not colored in. 14 is, hello, Sky! 14 is here, which is actually here, which probably seems really weird that I'm saying all these things to you, because you just got here, is right here. <laughs> um, so that was this one, so I'm looking for three bars, so that's here, which is actually here. And that's colored in. So that is the seventh thing to push. Um, so then I'm, what am I up to? I'm up to uh, 16. So 16, um, which is here. So actually here is colored in as well. So that's eight goes there. Um, and then do we have everything filled in? That's it. Okay. So that potentially is what I have to do. So let's run over here. <laughs> so if I figure this out right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, here, here is here. That is here. Yeah. Okay. So that didn't work. Um, okay, what did I do wrong? Hello, True Titan 22. Welcome. We're uh, trying to rack our brain on this puzzle. Um, so originally it was pointing this direction. So that made it a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> yeah, rip here is here is here. Uh, when in danger or in doubt, run in circles, screaming and shouting. Uh, welcome, uh, May Ace, by the way. Um, okay, so so let me, I guess let's verify that I did this properly for what I thought I was trying to do. So the first one I have is, um, so we'll figure out if they all go in sequence. So the first one I have is this, which is one. Next one I have is this, which is two. The next one I have is this, which is three, because uh, I'm mirroring it because the thing is rotated. The next one I have is four, which is this, which is actually over here. And then next I have this. So it's looking at uh, seven. So we're up to seven now. Um, and then this one, which is this. So it jumps all the way to uh, 14. Yeah, so it's already 14 there. Okay, let's, let's, and then next thing I have is um, the seven, which is that. Okay, well that, that works. Yeah, so the next one I have is this. So that goes up to 15. And then next, the last one is this. So that goes over to here. Okay, so it does actually go in order. So the next thing to do is also rotate this for what I'm supposed to be matching up. So I will take my piece of paper and rotate it and draw a new diagram. And we'll see or there's something else entirely different that I have to do. Um, because the the reason why I'm thinking that's potentially a case is because there's this thing here that says one. So the first thing I did, I was able to do it and that worked fine. Um, but so there might be another drawing somewhere else that I've never not found yet that I would need to find um, before we can continue. But let's try uh, doing it where we also are rotating which things have to be pushed in along with this. So, um, all right. So then the first, so one is, is there. So we actually will keep, no, I guess we'll also have to punch it in the right spot because the other thing's rotated. So the first one is, is here, which is filled in. So then we will, um, but we need to mark. So this is this button here on the thing in our orientation will be the first one we click on. And then, oh, so I can really, 
Can I just rotate it all? Oh, maybe not. That might not be the, work the same way. Okay, so then two is here, which is filled in. So we're gonna mark this spot as two, as the second thing to push. And then um, three, which is, what's three? Uh, three is here, which is filled in. So we're gonna mark this spot as being the third spot to push. Four, which is here, is also filled in. So we're gonna mark this as being the fourth spot. I'm sure this, this direction probably isn't right, but we'll try. Um, so now we're up to five, which is this, which is not filled in. Six, which is this, not filled in. Seven is filled in. So we're gonna mark this spot as being the fifth place to go. And I was up to here, which is seven. And then we want eight, which is here, not filled in. Nine is here, which is not filled in. 10 is two bars here, not filled in. 11 is here, and that is not filled in. 12 is here, not filled in either. Uh, 13 is here, that is not filled in. 14 is here, that is filled in. So we're gonna mark this spot as being the sixth thing to push. All right, we'll go back to here. So now we were at, so we're now we're looking for the three bars, so that's here, which is filled in. So we're gonna mark this as the seventh thing to push in. So we're up to 15, um, 16, yes. So 16 is there, which means we're gonna mark this place as being the eighth thing to push, and I believe there's only eight. Let me compare um, my drawing. Okay, so I think that that's the case. <laughs> this is probably not gonna work, but we'll try. Oh my God, I zoomed in that really quick. Okay, so we have uh, one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that tells me uh, that either I don't understand what I'm doing, <laughs> which is probably the case, or there's another one of these somewhere in the map that I have access to but don't realize that I have access to it. Oops, let me close something real quick. Um, one second. Um, okay, um, where is the game? There we go. Okay, so I need to find um, something that I haven't, so there's probably something like hidden writing somewhere um, or there's something where I have to like drink a potion because uh, I can make potions. So I might have to drink a potion somewhere that will show me secret writing. So what I'm looking for is some sort of uh, writing that's somewhere that might um, that might give me access to that. So if we if we run over to into this room over here. So one thing we did is we had a, a potion, a, a red potion that made the whole everything look red and it allowed us to see through this. Um, so there's some writing there that we were able to see numbers that we coded in over here. Um, we still haven't figured out this exactly. This Somehow this shows us symbols. So I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else that we've seen a smudge of paint that we might be able to see through, kind of. Or some place where we've seen a diagram with a two on it. I feel like I would have noted that if I did before. I feel like we've seen one of those target things before somewhere. Fair. Okay, let's look in our book. 
Yeah, that book is useless. Look at our letters. This, uh, this is that's similar-ish, but that particular one was merged with this. These two were put together, and that allowed us to get into a different building. Is that the one you're referring to? This one has too many layers to it. And not enough things colored in. So this thing only has... Um, this one only has seven total and we need eight things. And there, it's only two layers, not, not one in each layer. That was for um, this building here. So this door... I don't think it was in the letter, no. Okay, so there's another spot where we saw that before. Um, no, no. Um, yeah, that's true. I didn't ask for suggestions yet, but I, I'm trying to ponder where we might have seen that. Um, I don't think where have we seen that down here maybe <laughs> okay um, alright so now I'm asking for the suggestion Where where do you think we have seen that before um, particularly with a number two in the corner <laughs> would be great. Uh, oh, well, I'm going to check up on that cliff. Okay, how do I get to the cliff? I want to go this way, past, nope, uh, not here. I want to go through that door over there. Let's double check up uh, on the cliff area. So we'll climb up this ladder. And just double check up here. Because remember there was some stuff up here. Um, I don't recall seeing anything about that though. So this thing we still can't really do anything with. Okay. So I don't think that it's here. No. Okay. So where else have we seen? It was just a random comment. Yeah, I got you. Um. Do, 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 do. I remember thinking there was something that looked like a target is all. Okay. I guess let's double check. Let's head back to um, to the potion area. And make sure we didn't miss anything there. Actually, is there anything? So we recently unlocked this area. Uh, there's one where you shine the light. Can't remember what it's called though. Okay. So have you played this game before, May Ace? Yeah, we'll, we'll run around with the blue light. Just make sure that we didn't don't miss anything because a lot of times this what happens is that there's um that there's like you know hidden stuff so those are the different plants we can use to make potions okay i gotcha cool And there's this stuff to make the potions. I 
I don't think we have any more access to new areas quite yet. Where might I have seen that? Hmm. Um. So let's go back to the thing we just gained access to and look around some more. I suppose. Make sure we're not missing any anything. Um, hmm. Something else looks like a target. There was um, a weird thing over here. I mean, we've activated this thing already. Is this... I guess this isn't really... helping. Um, but it is the right number of... like, spokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's too many things, though. Uh, roommate brought me breakfast. Oh, man. Dunkin' Donuts. Nice. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I forgot how to get out. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna be here forever. Alright, let's double check in this house over here, maybe. Um, if, we, if it's something we have to shine the light... I might be in trouble because, um, because I feel like I've shined the light everywhere. Yeah, I guess I have to, <laughs> I don't know, that was weird. Gosh, um, okay, let's think. Where else haven't I been that I have access to? And somewhere I can shine a light on it. And... Stuff. Yeah, I mean, so there's potions. Potions I could, uh, I could drink. Here I saw a number. Um... I sure think it was like, because there's like a green one too, maybe, where I can, I can see, but making a potion and trying it out is really rough. Um, where you activated those circle things. Which circle things? Um... Can you be more specific, which circle things? These guys? Talking about this? Here's where I activated circle things. They actually do have different symbols on them. I didn't realize that. Um, the one at the docks. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I can get back to there. I want to go uh, this way. No, I want to go through this door over here. 
let's walk around here check this out so here I use those to be able to get access to that before um, we're gonna head on over to there I just want to be thorough So there's the circle things I activated. Let me make sure I have my blue torch up when I'm doing all this. Um. Hmm. Um, the other ones on the ground. The one at the docks. The other ones on the ground. Other ones on the ground. I'm trying to think of where, <laughs> which docks I've activated good stuff on the ground. But the docks. When you activated those circle things on the dock, on the one, or the one at the docks, the other one's on the ground. So how did I get back to where I just was? I back through here. I think you're potentially saying um, I got antsy and looked it up. <laughs> uh, very close. Interesting. Okay. So the the thing I'm looking for is um, is somewhere I've been before. Um, I don't recall. I guess it's one downside to playing this only weekly <laughs> is that I forget stuff. Hmm. Um... You have another hint I could uh, could have. Is it in this building? Um, yeah, yeah. It's not that I'm bad at this game. <laughs> it's that I forget. Uh, I forget between playthroughs. If I could screen, if I could the lighthouse, I use the torch uh, to light it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll try the lighthouse again. Yeah. I use the torch I, one time to get some symbols off the back. Uh, you look down a lot, but maybe you look up more. Ooh, ooh, looking up. All right, let me um, let me try that. Uh, also with the lighthouse. I'll try. I'll try a combination of those two suggestions. In the lighthouse, or this room. One, two, well, it doesn't help me, I guess. And I completely forgot that I've seen this before. 
Um, so in three weeks, when I forget this exists, remind me. <laughs> um, you can see it from there. Oh. Sure enough. Okay, great. Let's, um... Um... Let's see if uh, any of our filled in. If we go, let's go blue torch. Turn around. Uh, somewhere there is. Huh. It's not filled in at all. Blue torch didn't help. Interesting. Let's go. Um, let's try it. Let's swap out the torch. Let's put a, the powered torch. I'm, for the moment, I'm, I'm ignoring chat. I apologize. I wanted to see if changing a torch out helps at all. Um, so that doesn't seem to help. Let me look at the other side to see um, if... If anything seems like it's colored in at all. No, wait. Okay. So the symbol that was in the bottom corner was... I'm still ignoring chat. I apologize. Because <laughs> now that I have... A, now I have a direction, so I'm trying not to get any additional in. So the... It was the symbol that was all colored in, and then over in the corner, there was a thing indicating that's, that's move number two, or move number one. Um, so what we should do is look around, maybe with this torch... And try to find out what's colored in. Interesting. So that's saying that's move number two, but nothing's actually colored in. Um. Hmm. So we're on we're on track. Um. No more hints now. You found the thing to see. So I see it. Let me ponder what objects I have. <laughs> but yeah, that's the two. That's in the lower lower corner. I also have this thing. I don't know what that's for. And this thing. We have lots of objects. I don't remember what any of this stuff is for. Okay. So I can see it from the lighthouse. Let me, I guess, let me get back into this guy. Uh, I'm going to go hidden writing mode. Look through. And then ponder what I might not be seeing. Because it's not filled in. So that doesn't really help me. I mean, yeah. Um, what if I go this way, then I see the writing that tells me that one code a while ago. Where is it? Yeah, so this thing was to get a different key. Um, a key A. So I'm looking for a circle of stuff filled in near this thing that's telling me this is the second move to make. Let's try changing torches again. Is there anything else I can put in this thing? Can I put... Um, this object? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why this object is there, but yeah, I can put it there. Oh, wait, okay, wait. Hold on, let's back up. I put that object there. Can I put this on there? Oh, God. Oh, stop. Stop. Don't. Oh, my goodness. Bye. <laughs> wow. That's, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that the game didn't let me do that on accident. <laughs> okay. So. 
Um, so I guess what that's saying... Actually, now that I burned it, I guess I can do... Um, I can take all this stuff back. And we can go here, and we can see a little bit better. Maybe? Let's, maybe we'll walk over there. That might be easier to see. If we're closer to it. <laughs> so we need eight things. So one, two, three, four, five... Uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, so they're all there. Um... So, let's um, draw in, so we have a small circle, and then a bigger circle. And then we're going to fill in um, this, and this guy, and this guy, and that guy, and this guy, and this guy. And that guy, and that guy. Okay. Go. Are you umming the, the fire? <laughs> the thing that I just burned? Um, Alright, and then we want to go to get back to where we just were. We need to go... Uh, through here, yeah. Here we go. So then now we still have to do, the, the numbers are upside down. But we can work with that. Okay, so we're here, looking at this. I'm gonna draw in another circle because we wanna write down the sequence that they have to be in. Okay, but yeah, so the number, the arrow is pointing down, so we're going to flip all this stuff. So we have, back to the counting, so we have one is here, so it's actually here, and that is not filled in. Uh, two is here, so it's actually here, and that is filled in. Um, uh, two, three, which is here. So actually here is filled in. Oop, I forgot to draw more lines. Hold on, I screwed up my drawing. Uh, yeah, I'm missing some stuff. Hold on, <laughs> sorry. I'm never good at drawing that. Okay, uh, that's good enough-ish. So the first one is actually, yeah, it's supposed to be this one here. Uh, where were we? Three, which is actually here, is filled in, so two. Um, four, which is here, is actually over here, is not filled in. Five, which is this, which is actually here, is not filled in. Six, which is here, so it's actually up here, is filled in. So that's the third thing we're doing. Um, seven. Those are time. Okay. Seven, which is here. No. Seven, which is here, which is actually here, is filled in. So that is the fourth thing. Five. Or rather, I'm sorry. We're up here. We're at seven. And we want eight which is here, which is actually here, is filled in. Um, and we want, so we're back to here. So then we want nine, which is here, which is actually here, is not filled in. Um, 10, which is this, so here is filled in. So we want to do, that's the sixth thing. Um, so we're back to here. 11, which is here, which is actually here, is filled in. So that's the seventh thing. So we're back to this. Um, so we're looking for 12, which is this, which is actually here, is filled in. So that's the eight. So, assuming I did everything right. 
then we can just punch this in. So we have um, one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, Double check. Let me try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. So either I've done it wrong. Or I also need to rotate um, the colored in spots. So we'll try that next. So we'll flip it over. Um, draw another circle. Another circle. And some lines. Okay, so we're going to also do the coloring is now upside down as well. Um, so we do need to, so we're going to first check to see, is it colored in? Um, so before we were, I was checking to see if the mirrored spot was colored in. So now I'm going to check it before I mirror. <laughs> okay. So we have, um, so one is here, not colored in two. It's colored in, so we're gonna we're still gonna mirror. So this is where I'm going to push in. Um, so that's the first spot. Three, it's over here. It is colored in. Um, so I'm gonna mirror and make this be the pushed in spot. Um, four, which is here, is not colored in. Uh, five is here, and that's not colored in. Uh, six is here that's colored in so we're going to mirror still and go up there so that's the third thing so we're back to here um and then next we want um this guy who is colored in so we're going to mirror and make that be here four um and then we have um, this guy, right? Yeah, this guy, which is colored in. So that's over here. That's going to be the fifth thing. Then we want this, which is not colored in, followed by this, which is colored in. So then the, the mirrored spot for that is over here. So this is the sixth thing. Um, well now we want um, this, which is colored in. So we're going to mirror it to here. So this is the seventh thing. We're almost there. Hopefully this works. <laughs> uh, so 11, 12. Yeah, 12. So mirror it, put it here. So that is the eighth thing. So we have... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Interesting. Um, So another thing I can do besides instead of having to translate this thing constantly, 
is I could write down, um, I could translate these onto another grid. I think it's going to be a lot nicer. So let's draw a big circle and another big circle. And then draw a line through and then another line there. Um, <laughs> let's just go from And then on this one, the arrow is pointing up. I'm going, to try, I'm going to write down the translation of the numbers on here just to make it easier every time because otherwise I'll have to keep on redoing it. So we have um, 1, 2 is over there, 3, 4 is on the reverse side, uh, 5, 6, 7, um, I was going to ask if you could do your coloring and then just rotate the paper instead of mirroring it. Uh, maybe. Not sure what exactly you are doing since we can't see. Okay, yeah. Well, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just straight up like translating the numbers so I don't have to keep on like trying to figure out these symbols. Um, so now we're up to 7. So here is 6, 7, um, eight, nine, um, ten, right here, eleven, twelve, uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 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 Oh, Sixteen. Fifteen, and then sixteen. Uh, I'm not good at mirroring. Yeah. All right. So this is what I've drawn. So it's just the numbers translated as they are. And now they're actually like this. <laughs> um, okay. But I think what I might do is rotate it. Yeah, I'll rotate. So this is actually... Oh, no, which one did I... Did I do this one right side up? Or which one is... I didn't draw an indicator. Let me. I have to run all the way back over to the other thing to know which way it's facing. Um, but this will be a little bit easier because now I have the numbers number thing written down and then I will have this thing written down and then we have you know we can rotate them as needed so let's back up a little bit so um, okay so it's in this orientation on the wall okay And we want to go this way. Okay. So. I will try it with the numbers upside down. So I'm going to keep the numbers... So I know the sequence of them um, there. And then I'm going to keep the colored in spots um, set up in the same way as it was on the wall. That's the first test. So we're going to say this is 1, um, and it is not colored in. 2, it's really hard to see numbers upside down. 2 is here, and it is colored in. 3 is here, it's colored in. 4 is over here, not colored in. Uh, five is here, it's not colored in. Six is here, it's colored in. See, Coda, thanks for stopping by. Six is here. Seven is here, it's colored in. Eight is here, it's colored in. Nine is here, it is not colored in. 
Uh, 10 is here. It is colored in. Uh, 11 is here. It is colored in. Um, 12 is here. It is colored in. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, next, we're going to also rotate the little diagram. So this is, I'll make a little arrow to point, like I say, like this is, this is the way up is, but we'll try rotating it. So, try again. So we have one is here. Um, it is not colored in. Um, the other possibility is that I have the wrong things colored in from the other thing. I don't think I do, but. So one is there. Two is here. It is colored in. Um, three is here. It is not colored in. Four is here. It is colored in. Uh, five is here. And it is not colored in. Um, six here, not colored in. Seven, my dog's, I don't know if you can hear my dog. She's sleeping. Uh, seven, can't hear, here is not filled in. Eight is here, it is filled in. Nine uh, is here, it is filled in. Ten is here, it's filled in. 11 is here, uh, it's not filled in. 12 is here, it is filled in. Um, 13 is here, it is not filled in. 14 is here, it is filled in. Okay, uh, 15, I thought maybe that was gonna be it. 15 is here, it is not filled in. 16 is here. It is yes. Okay, so we figured that out. Good. So this piece of paper away. <laughs> yes. Okay. Epic. Let's uh, let's check this room for hidden writing before we grab our thing. Before we grab our reward. Make sure there's nothing we're missing. Okay. Good. Battery. Ooh. Oh dear. Thank you. When I picked it up, the thing. Oh, that's exciting. Aha. Well, that's fine. I don't like this base anyway. Oh. I need something heavier. Let's put, um... Uh, I might need this later, but... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, I need to find something heavier to put on there. There's dripping water. I don't know if that helps me. Um, okay. What do I have that's heavy enough that I don't need? Is this thing heavy enough? No. Yeah. Is this thing heavy enough? No. Yeah. That's good, because I kind of want that. Is this bucket heavy enough? I can put stuff into the bucket. Maybe. the water from? Why is it dripping? Alright, let's put this thing back. So we could try swapping out the batteries. Um, or we have to do something, because this bucket we can do some things with. Um, I haven't figured out what those things are exactly yet. But we can hook up the bucket to this. And then we can do that. <laughs> uh, um, we can put stuff there. We have a gear. I don't understand what this... Oh, okay, that's... It's closed, and then this opens it. Um, so we can put stuff into that bucket. Uh, 
Um, and I feel like a bucket might be heavy enough then to leave there. Um, okay, so the other option is is that I want to swap out the batteries. I feel like I eventually want all the batteries, but what I'm curious on is if they're programmed for certain things, or if it's the amount you have. So let's come in here. Let's steal this one. So we have less access to stuff, maybe. Oh, that's an, that's another issue. I guess if we steal a battery, we might not be able to get back in there. Let's try that out uh, this way. So those lights went out. Did the doors actually close? Okay, so the doors actually closed, so that idea doesn't work. Um, with swapping out batteries, because the, the, you need all of them to be able to keep that on. Okay. So we need something that's heavy enough to put on the pressure plate. I feel like the bucket's a good, 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 good contender, but I don't know what things I can put in there. Um, so let's put the bucket where it's supposed to go, and then we could try to get a liquid in this so any any potion really will do so I guess let's make a potion or at least head over there because it's time to go <laughs> um, so yeah hopefully next time I'll actually what I'll, what I'll do is I'll as I'll log out um, I'll save the game over here looking at this bucket and maybe that'll remind me that my my guess is that maybe I will want to put something inside the bucket to then weigh down the thing to be able to get out of there. Um, unless I can use, can I use these clippers? Probably not. No, okay. All right, so something with a bucket maybe to weigh down the thing, uh, but that's gonna be the end of the stream. Um, so um, yeah, the potion, which one's a good idea? You like the, the potion idea? Like if I just make any any potion, I can, um, I can put it into the bucket maybe. Uh, otherwise, I'm not really sure what else I would put in there. Uh, I mean, this thing I can interact with somehow, but I don't really know. Um, I do that with email all the time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Log out with what I'm looking for. Yeah.